Hello everybody and welcome back to D-Moon Show. I am your host D-Moon and once again we're playing Ethereum Chronicles Rising. I, I don't know if I'm saying that name right. That's what I'm just saying now, Ethereum. I don't know why they couldn't just say it. Well, not that. Make it a little bit easier. Like, I gotta figure out how to actually say it. That'd be the, the what will happen at the very end of the game. Last episode, I'll be like, oh, no, I'll, I'll say it properly. I don't want huge ore. I want pure ore. So I'll probably be down here for a while. Looking for all the nice high quality pure or high purity ore. Something broke up there. this. Alright, nothing good. Nothing good. Like, once I get everything upgraded, I'll just sell, like, all my materials, everything, and just become rich. I don't like how that one is, like, you can't see that poison gas until it's too late. Well, I hope everyone's doing good today. This one, if I can actually... Before I get interrupted by these guys. Shouldn't be too long uh, before we beat it. Huge ore. Like, I hear that sound making it me think that it's something that I need. And I might need it. I'm unsure. But yeah, I'm not too I'm not too far away from uh eating the game. Like I could beat it if I didn't do all this all these side quest stuff. Oh no. Petrified? And pretty much the only reason why I'm doing this is, you know, so I can say that I went through and completed 100. At least, at least not trophy-wise, because I'm playing this on the PlayStation. Is this another way? Yeah, so I probably want to go up to that dead-end area first. It'd be nice if one of my guys had a what's it called? Regen. Set of a gun. Like I gotta check every rock. needs a little bit more of a teleporting boost because she doesn't really go far when she teleports like CJ goes farther than she does so 
there something here? Oh, I still have to go up. Okay. I still have to go up. Oh no, I have to go up in the other area. I gotta look at the map more. Oh well. Let's go, Garu. Let's go, Garu. Perfecto. Yeah, it'd be really nice if, like... Like, I always use CJ, but that's because she's the most... Is that not open? Weird. Like, I'm always picking CJ because she's like... I don't know why I jumped there. She does her double jump and she can, you know, do her... Um, oh, what's it called? Dash move. So I can get around a lot faster with her. And also when she gets on the ledge, she pulls herself up. Oh, petrified. Everyone else is pretty good, but... Like, I can make pretty big gaps with... CJ. Getting a lot of huge ore, but that's not what I need. certain spot that I need to find this or I think this will just lead me to a fishing spot. Oh. Fishing spot? don't need to do. Come on, I went through like most of the quarry. I didn't even get one high purity or Am I somewhere else now? I'm like at the end. Fight this golem. Oh, you're not gonna rocket arm at me? Oh, there it is. Ah! I swung too soon. It went a lot slower than what I was thinking it was going to do. There we go. Ooh, a giant stone. Super helpful. That would be helpful. Some high purity ore. Oh, are you guys just here all the time now or something? Well, let's get you first. Oh, wow. I like how these guys are level 40, but I was able to just take them out easily.
Might go talk to Hulk and see if he has a... Uh... Ooh, maybe I will talk to Hogan because maybe he'll have stock and I can actually buy it from him. So what I want to do is go to room quarter. Then go to Second Street, and I think that will loop me around to the back. Yeah. Hogan, I found it. Fantastic. More ways for my abandoned door and walls. Here, take a sap. You earned it. I might do some and leave the other one for later. Level up. That means the building level up. New stock. Growth pendant. Okay, do you have high grade or purity or? Oh, yes, you do. <sighs> but I can only... It's actually not bad. Yes. Can I get huge or? This is... This is the way to get stuff, guys. Gals. And all. What else do I need? Can I get fiery wings? No. I don't think I can get fire wings. What are you guys? Yeah, I don't think I get fire wings, but guess what, guys? Through hard work, oh, we were able to do it. We were able to get that high purity ore. Took a while, but we managed to do it. Okay, who needed that? Ugh. Okay, let's go to Second Street. No, I'm in Second Street. Yeah, what? No, I need to go to Room Quarter. And then I can just go through there. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to some people in the plaza still. Okay, I, th I thought for a second I was somewhere else. We found someone named Caramel in the forest. That simpleton. She sent him of all people. Well, if your sister's okay, that's all that matters, right? If she's dumb enough to run off to the woods, more fool me. Then more fool me for worrying about her. That's a little bit strange. Then more fool me for worrying about her. A little odd wording. If she's dumb enough to run to the woods, then more fool me for worrying about her. Don't think. It's supposed to be more. Then more fool. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever you say, stamp please. Like that's probably proper wording, but. It just seems a little odd. Doesn't really flow with uh, flow with it. Oh, do I need rune horn? Or rune upgrade? Ah, you needed it. Yes. Uh, let's actually check what we have. Let's get you the ice rune three. And you're still on fire rune. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's get you that. You're on earth rune. Okay, I need some more. Alright. And bags. I need fire magic vista. But I haven't really had any issues with carrying stuff. Alright, got what you asked for. I am incredible! Now stamp my card and I'll be on my way. Well, I'll be able to get everything stamped at least. Alright, oh, right, I need fiery wings. I found these salted plums you wanted. Oh, thank you. Wow, these smell sour, huh? They sure do. Weird that he actually likes the stuff, isn't it? Yeah. 
What's all the fuss is? What's all the fuss is about? What's the matter with you two? I smell this bowl needs to be breathed in deep. Here's your stab. Sam. So she breathed it in. And then she coughed because she was like, Because <gasps> it smelled terrible. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't have enough money. No, I want this one. I need four consecutive shots. Myth roll, myth roll, myth roll. I need some myth roll. I gotta see maybe if Hogan has it, but I'm not sure. Away. That boy chased Yum Yum away. He did what? And, uh, cause I know her. She's great. You really think so? Yeah, uh, she's pretty and she's strong enough to break a wall. I hope I can be like her one day. When you put it like that... Alright, so now I can report back. Nothing else. I don't think that there's anything in the room district. Let's go to the farms, even go. I could probably just ran there. Your papa will be here shortly. Oh, thank you, miss. No, oh, we're so close. We're so close. Oh, I just need three more. Melanor says she'll be friends with you. She's a little older than you. Really? I'll go say hello. Thanks, old lady. Old lady. Caught the extra large salmon you were talking about. No way, you caught it? Girl, I will not be best by wealth. Don't care and want your salmon. Yeah, this is it, everyone. We're going to see what's beyond platinum. I caught it. I caught the large catfish. Who did? Wow, that's amazing. Wait, no. What means I lose? Y'all catch a bigger one, you see? Yeah, stamp received, XP, and let's see what happens. Everything looks even better than before. Pretty sure that also means like more people are here. Rumors about the town has spread far and wide. People are coming from all corners of the world looking to set up shop right here. You can have chain link up to five attacks. All right, so where do I need to go now? I think outside the village. No, maybe not. Maybe they. Maybe. No, I was thinking of the the kid, and if he wanted. So I do have to talk to Melanor again. I, she's in the room quarter, right? Yeah, I don't know. I was just here. Black. Huh. So now our uh, stamp is black now. Seems like you're uh, pretty popular with kids. Girls in particular. Kids, huh? Girls? I see. Yeah, well, at least one. A role model for girls everywhere. Of course, that's exactly what I am. I'll get stronger, tougher, faster, and... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Yeah, that went well, I think. Alright, I'm just gonna see if Hogan. Oh, I need to drink some water. Mithril! Any mithril. No mithril. See, I wanna use my stance, but I don't know. Exactly what it means if I use up a stamp. But I think I'll keep them until the end and then just get the eternal bonds. Fortunately, that means that I got so much more missions. I do need more money though.
think that's all fine. Oh, what did I need? I needed a fiery. I need a fiery something. Fiery magic venter. This is what I needed. There, now I can upgrade her. Uh, I just need hard lumber. Alright. Man, I'm not gonna get all these quests done, am I? Oh no, I will. I just. I don't know why I'm thinking that. So, we practically upgraded all that. Uh. Oh, right, I gotta do Jack in the Plaza. Oh, I have to find people in the Plaza, eh? Okay. Now I hit to check it. Even for you. I think I found what you're looking for. Oh, good lord. This is it. Perfectly weighed. Sure, one sure strike with this. Yeah, I'll follow up with my Thor dual attack. Batard, I'll never, never see it coming. Batard? Well, I mean, it's not that card for you, young lady. Oh, Jane. Sapphire Zeal. Money. Fame. People. Uh, nothing else there. Quests. Ah, oh, did no one want to play with them? No, oh, no, there's someone. Sure, I love making new friends. Really? That's great. Yeah, poor kid. Uh, okay, so he's at the town of Skirts. Get myself some water. Feeling a little bit parched. Bruno said he'll come play with you. You and him are around the same age. Seriously? I mean, I'll play with them if they want. All right, all right. Go on over and play nice. But give me a stamp before you go. Oh, yes. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go and do the mission. I got time. Who knows, maybe I'll be finished the mission and then the next main mission will come up and more side quests will appear. Because that seems to be it. It's like you do one mission, you do 18 side quests, and you go off and do another mission. More 18 side quests. Let's see what's hidden here then. The, right. May 3rd. I received a Cal Calistern letter from the Grand Emperor regarding the Rune Barrows, signed by a man, signed by a man named, signed by a man by the name of Herswine. He claimed to be in service of Gladden Lord, but neglected to name any names. He offered a heavy sum in exchange for information on the Barrows, and exclusive rights to excavate them. The barrels belong to the League of Nations. The choice to sell them off to some Imperial nobleman is not mine alone to make. Oh, I guess this should be like the guy talking, like more of the background. I must report this to Mulka, uh, Mulka at once. Exclusive binding rights? Why is the Emperor being so sneaky about that? About it? I do not know. I did not know any of this. Let's read on. May 18th. I cannot understand what Mulka is thinking. He will grant new, new, neither funds or reveal nor soldiers to protect his people from monsters. Surely even he can see this is a death sentence. And he had the galls to entrust me with the matters of pertain, pertaining to the runes. Some Margov, or Margov, he's turned out to be. How can I alone save this town that has been abandoned by its Margov, or Margrov. I fear I may not be longer in the position to resist Herswine's mysterious offer. I heard as 
It's hard as much from the townsfolk. But what's a useless Margrove he's turned out to be? He's just left there one to die. Margrove Mocha behavior is certainly odd upon reflection. How could a greedy little man like him turn his nose at the money making potential of the barrels? Perhaps he and this swath hearthswine hearthswine character are conspiring together. You think the League of Nations would throw his ore with the Empire? What's in it for them? Right. Selling the rights means that the Empire gets to keep everything. The League of Nations. The League wouldn't like that. If he was greedy as they say, why wouldn't he just keep it all for himself? Right. Skaggs, exactly. What if, instead, he's being promised something more valuable than which can be found in the burrows? For example... For example... His own life and the survival of House Chantra. Chantra? Chantria? Isha, what are you saying? If I were this Heinswan fellow lord, I would offer Merka a chance to keep his land free of imperial influence. Should the Empire become aggressive in exchange, Marco would be expected to turn a blind eye to anything regarding the borrows. That alone would be enough to turn a spineless, self-serving man like Mara, and the Empire could keep, come and go as they please, with no one opposed them. The League. Isn't this a tool for the Empire to use and abuse, though? What right would they have? You think the League would start a war over one meanest mean little ruin? No. Perhaps not over one ruin. Regardless, starting a war would mean giving up the uh, animosity why oppose yourself if you didn't have to? We know not who this lord is, but there's close enough to the Empire to wield his power. There must be conspiring influence, highly ranked, no doubt. Someone calling us enough to manipulate Mocha so readily may not care of their own actions result in war. Or worse, sell someone intent on sowing the seeds of disbehavior some of for whom war is a goal. Alright, alright. Let's keep in mind that this is your own little fantasy we're talking about, yeah? Of course. But it would explain Mor Mor Molka's behavior. If I am right, then this person behind it must be more villainous than I could even imagine. A storm may be yet be approaching. A big one. You know, sure, sure no, a lot of politics for a kid. Right. I told you before, my magic made it difficult to make friends. So my father brought me a great many books. The friends I knew in my books were the only friends I had. Remember, I live in a remote frontier town. Passing merchants and annual trips to the city were my only chance to add up my collection. Children books were hard to come by. History and math was given. I was given a lot of awfully difficult books. Even still, I enjoy when I enjoyed when my father would read to me, and enjoyed learning to read myself even more. Every time I learned a new word, he'd pat my head, say something like, "You should start, Isha. Good job." <laughs> Karu, you're not crying, are you? Of course not. You've got something in my eye. You're a little cry, mate. Nah, my eyes are a little bit sweaty or something. <laughs> you know, if Easter is right, why does this lord fellow want the treasure in a barrel so badly anyways? I do not know, but according to my father, they also wanted information. It is possible they didn't know what was down there. They must have been looking for something. 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 Anything. I don't know. Let's keep reading. May 30. May 23rd. Today's General Assembly could not have gone any worse. My proposal to send a expedition to Barrows was opposed fiercely by the town elders. Something about a sorcerer of legend. Shiva, in particular, was very vocal on this disarm for disdain for my idea. Not surprising, given what he knows about the borough's blessing. Even so, there's no going back now. The pact with Herswine has always been made. 
I have heard the Empire researching to manage that has been processing well. If they would just lend their support, I'm sure we would find a way around that damn blessing. The Barrow's blessing? What could that be? Treasure. I suppose my father is my treasure. Growing up with magic and this hair, everyone around me seemed unnerved. But my father always stood by me, even when no one else would. He told me this power was a gift from the land, encouraging me to be proud of who I was, of what I was. I was right, just like the Sism of the new Nora and these monsters. I am one of the sorcerer's experiments. Wait, we don't know that yet. She's right, there's more of the raid. More. The next entry is about the examination of the room burrows. May 28th. While searching the burrows, we came upon a four-legged monster, iron legs no less. Except for me and Kirchit, who I believe to have escaped, the rest of us examination team are dead. Forgive me, everyone. I am wounded, perhaps beyond all hope. Aisha, I'm so sorry for leaving you alone in this cruel world. You are, and forever be, my one and only treasure. I wanted to solve the mystery of the burrows and free you from your blessing once and for all. Or free you from their blessing once and for all. My dear, dear daughter, I pray that your life be long and rich with happiness. Aisha, are you okay? Or are you right? This is a diary is to believe my father is already. In that case, who have we been chasing this time? Okay, okay, take it easy. We don't know yet. Save your plateaus, apologies. Look, all this bl blood. Father, we're in the barrels because of me. Aisha, life isn't always as simple as a treasure hunt, right? There'll be hard times and harder times. But there'll be times when you just want the earth to open up and swallow your whole. So never feel bad for falling on your knees if that's what the world is pushing you to. Cry till you can't cry no more. But never, and I mean never, let life break your spirit. When you're done crying, you stand up and press on. No matter what. Just like she said before. Now that sounds like an adventure. It's important to learn for your limits and what about the train in advance and about preparation, of course. But to me, it's Iron Rail that makes an adventure. Unbreakable determination to press on, find treasure, and make it out of any situation alive, no matter what. No matter what they throw at you, you can stand up on the other side of it that you've not lost yet. The treasure that will make it all worthwhile is in front of you, not behind you. So you gotta get back up. Aisha, if we're ever gonna know the truth, we'll have to find whatever was in the burrows. But, but we always search the burrows. Father wasn't there. Take a look at this. What is that? The last page of the diary. The mayor drew this, didn't he? F Father was an earnest researcher. This looks like he copied an old map from Nevera. And if this map is right, there's a mirror in the plaza that will take us somewhere we haven't been to yet. Mirror in the plaza? Why'd you... Ah. Yep. Shiva's clock tower. Old Shiva and his old pals built the clock tower around the mirror. The people of Nevera must have done it after they sealed the sorcerer away, so that no one would ever go back to the part of the burrows. The mayor we saw there... I just know it. My scavenger senses are telling me so. Sense, huh? Her scavenger senses ain't nothing to step at. Mercs have it too, you know. Instincts. Home three years of experience. Okay, okay. I believe your scavenger sense, CJ. We should look for Shiva. Ask him about the clock and about this burrow's blessing. Oh, wow. That's not it. Oh. All right, we'll go until till we learn about this blessing. But wow, what a heart-touching moment. I couldn't tell if I could talk as the mayor or her reading it. <laughs> Shiva, we'd like to have a word, quite urgent. Ugh, got to wait. It cannot, 
We found the mayor's diary in the burrows. I think you should give it a quick look. Deska. How could you be so stupid as to let the Empire make us such fools of us? Shiva, please tell me everything you know about the Burrow's blessing. Forget about that, you hear? There's nothing anyone can do about it anyways. Shiva, please. Please tell me. You wish I hadn't. In this town, every few decades, a child is born with a law lens inside their body. These children all have azure hair, and they're born with a natural ability for magic. So wait, so that's why Isha can use magic? Aye. You got the raw lens, all right, inside you. I, I knew it. These azure hair children are often skilled mage, but they don't get to enjoy it for long. The lens fills them with power and corrupts their body. They don't see a light. They don't live to see adulthood. N no. What? Why? Why Isha? Only Isha? I rage her is because she's gifted, knowledgeable. But I don't know. Damn it. As far back as I can remember, the town folks has called this the Burrow's Blessing. Of course, the youngsters don't know of it. Only Deska and the other elders know anything about it. Shut up, you're wrong. You must be wrong. That's not a blessing, it's a curse. You want to make, want me to take those lonely suffering children, look them in the eye, and tell them they're cursed? Sure, that would help. I, I didn't, no, no, I... The ancestors couldn't end it. Nor could I, nor could Deska. Or Deska. Deska? And have you tried everything? Have you tried absolutely everything to break this curse, have you? If Gesco the other had any other options, he would have made a deal with the Gladden, Gladdens, wouldn't he? I see. So that's why my father annoyed your protests and proceeded with the expedition. And you try to keep me from the burrows because you knew I had, well, not long left to live. I just want you to live your life in peace. That's all. Can you ever forgive me, Aisha? Aisha, don't look at that. Aisha, look at me. Don't listen to another word of this. Thank you, Shiva. It appears I have misjudged you. Look at me. You have every right to live. Anything you're born with belongs to you. Don't let some old curse make choices about who you are. What gives a sorcerer and magic the right? Just look at it. Just tell him I get my hands on him. The sorcerer. Magic, wait. The signal. Look, the signal the mayor drew is a diary the same as the signal I saw on the lab down in the burrows. The monster on the hologram got trapped in the signal. Then the sorcerer pulled the royal Lorenz out from his body. And what? Don't you think it's odd? That sorcerer was supposed to be sealed away hundreds of years ago. But still, every few decades here in this town, a child is born with a blessing? Even though the sorcerer had been locked away for much longer than that? You mean... Discus... Discus said something similar a long time ago. He didn't think the numbers worked. Exactly. Isha, Shiva. There's no sorcerer down there. Just a spell that's casting itself over and over. In the vision of Nu Navara, who fought the sorcerer wasn't alone. The sorcerer's perchance had transmutated the spell on them and grew let raw lens inside each of their bodies. He said as much, didn't he? The grade of the lens depended on the amount of magical power within the subject. Exactly. Something with a lot of magic power could grow a high grade lens if the transmutation spell was given enough time. But monsters like that don't come along every day. So instead, of one big guinea pig, he tried it with many, many small ones. Exactly, Garu, exactly. He sacrificed the old environments to try to mass-produce raw lenses. What a villain. 
old Navarians must have had their had been better with magic than the town folks around here today. That's why he was able to send several lenses at once from them, or get several. And all the people, some realize that he has done, sought revenge. His own creations turned against him. But the spell was set up so that it would work even if the sorcerer himself wasn't there. Kept going by, the sigil was drawn and the humongous lens we saw. That's why I was born this way. It makes sense, doesn't it? For the reason for Inza's lens, the signal's under the town. So stands a reason that we have to go to Rina under the plaza and smash up the signa, signal. Isha's blessing might just break too. If not, it will. It will definitely will. Isha and I didn't get off on the right foot, but she's my friend. Aww. No, my treasured friend. We will have to try and save her. CJ. Nothing more to say, is there? Let's get down to them barrels and bust it up. Garu. Grumps. This clock tower used to be a marrow, didn't it? It did? Wait, I do remember the elders mentioning something about that when I was here last, when I was little. The clock tower is built from a massive stone that has fallen in the plaza. I knew it. Wasn't there an identical or indent of the runelands that could fit somewhere? That's the only way to power the melons or Meher. You're right. I saw it myself. The stone design of the tower is rigged just the right size for a lens to slip into. Where, where? It's hollow at the bottom. Where we're driving waste to decrease the bell. To ring the bell, there's no way you get in there, though. Huh? Why not? The gear that conducts the drive weight to the transmutation mechanism is broken. You know how many times I wind the drum, neither weight nor the hands will move an inch. If I can't get the weight to move, we can't reach the hollow. I'm lost. Had a cough there for a second. We need to rebuild the gear at the clock tower to work. Until it works, we can't reach many areas. Is that right? Yes. Why don't you just say that then? All right, let's go get a new gear made. Easier said than done. It's a big one. It has to work with the other gears and pinions too. It's got to be exactly the same as the original. Pinions? There's no one around here that can make it. Where can I find someone who can then? In the capital. Let's call it the Trek. Or G Gladra. The Empire? The Gladian Empire has thriving mechanical industry. Certainly one of their machinists can make it. Forget it. I'll save even further away than the capital it is. Why can't the smithy take care of it? Terra's good, you know. I wouldn't know that. Let's go ask him. Oh, we're still not done? All right, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. Like, we've... I, I thought I was just gonna talk to them both, and then it'd be done. So next time, we will learn how to repair the thing and probably have actual side quests after that. I uh, thank you all for watching, and we're diving deeper into the secrets of this town. Now, this is supposed to be the prequel of uh, Aetherum Chronicles 100 Heroes. I'm not sure so much about the story of that game, but it probably will have to do something about the League of Nations and the Empire. And possibly the Burrows, because, like, the characters that I'm playing as will be part of uh, the game. That game, when it comes out, probably playable characters. So, stuff that happens here might, in turn, become the beginning or uh, something for the next game. But... That's all speculation until the uh, game actually comes out. So, without further ado, I thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope things turn around. You do, in fact, have a good day. So, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>